Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video, and today we're bringing you guys episode number 6 of Hot Roulette. I'm pretty excited to play this next game. As you guys know, we opened up a, a gold pack last episode. We pulled 5 solid gold players that we were able to use on the team. And look at that, we did a little bit of line rearranging. I took some of your guys', guys advice in the comment box below. Uh, so if you guys have any more suggestions for line suggestions, Leave them in the comments, I might just use them for the next episode. So anyways, I decided to move Patrick Marlowe up to the first line and getting back that Brian Boyle on the center spot on the second line. He used to be my favorite centerman in all of NHL 15. I'm hoping that NHL 16 he is just as good even though skating is kind of like on the questionable side. Anyways, I moved up Mark Stone as well to the third line. He's playing alongside with Nita Ryder and Gergensons. In the fourth line we have Shane Doan, Clink Hammer, and Delpy. That's what you guys were saying, Delpy? Uh, I, I, said, I think I was saying it wrong the whole time, but that is how my offense is looking. Defense, we got Jake Gardner, Kari Lettinen, Nick, Nate Prosser, we got Chris Summers, Mark Stahl, Carlisle, and Central Ohm. Central Ohm? I don't know how to say it. But anyways, we're getting into this next game. If we can win this next game, we will continue that six-game win streak to a seven-game win streak. So uh, we don't get to buy any packs or special cards this episode, but the pickup is still going to be pretty good. Let's start up the first game. Alright, so the game is starting. Had to mute his mic for a second, but he's got Barfkov, he's got Steen. I think that was Schlemko on his right wing. I don't exactly know who that is, but we're gonna get this game going. We got some nice players on our team now. No more bronzes to worry about. Let's get this game going. Hopefully, we can score a goal! Alright, here we go. Five on three once again. Come on, we gotta get some more pressure on. Shoot it! Uh, Wheeler, Bodker. Oh, Bodker. Oh, is that going in? Wait, 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 wait. Five hole. Come on, shoot the puck and score it. Come on, we got so many chances here. He's already taken so many penalties. Bacher, grab the puck. Is that another penalty? No, that's not. Can't be another penalty. Oh, that was a nice saucer pass, but come on. We need a goal. Put it in the back of the net. Oh, beautiful move. Get around him. Get around him. Oh, the backhand forehand couldn't pull through. Alright guys, so that is the end of the first period and man, this guy loves to poke check spam. Look at the stats here. 12 minutes and penalties. He's got 6 tripping penalties in the first period. Absolutely ridiculous. I cannot get by his defense because every single time I have a good chance, he just pokes down my guy and I can't get the shot off. So anyways, still 0-0 in the second period. Very interesting opponent for sure. Oh, there's a face-off win. Come on, come on. In front. Shoot! Oh, pro, pro, pro. Set it up, set it up. Back to Vodker. Shoot it on net! That's going in! Oh, Blake Wheeler! That's going in! Wheeler. Oh, bro! Oh, man. Empty net. Just did not have the angle there. Garner keeps it in, though. Oh, okay, okay. Circle around back. Let's see what we can do. Get back into the zone. Get back into the zone. Pass it across to Wheeler. All right, back to pro, I guess. No, no one's actually picking up the puck. It just, like, it's not moving. Vodker. Let's go, let's go. Circle around, circle around. Pass it back down. Okay, here we go. Cut in. Gardner, shoot! That's going in! Oh, another smacked up air chance. He could have got it. There's another penalty. God damn it! Still got it, still got it. Get out of my way! This guy with the poke checks. Alright, end of the second period. And once again, just no goals. But take a look at the penalty minutes. He's gotten another six uh, penalties. Six tripping calls again. I only have like four tripping calls, but like crazy. I can't do anything while it's always on the power play. He's always just poke checking. Alright, anyway, still 0 0. We gotta get a goal now. Oh, come on. There's absolutely no commentary. Look at that. 15 tripping penalties. Are you goddamn kidding me? That's like 30 minutes and power play time, and I cannot score a goal. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I just can't score for some reason. I can't score on this guy. Yes! There is the first goal. Oh my goodness. It is so nice just to score one on this guy. Like, Jesus Christ. Eight minutes left in the third period. I haven't gotten anything going. This guy has 16 tripping penalties this game. That's 32 minutes in power play minutes. And finally, Boyle scores one. I'm watching the replay on that one. Jeez. The king of poke check spams right here.
Yes, there is another one, and that is going to seal the deal, guys. Two to nothing. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie, this guy is not bad defense when it's kind of a weird strategy. I don't know, this guy pokes so much to the point where it's like no one can get by his defense, not even himself. But anyways, it's two to nothing now. Sauce it over. End the game. Come on, let's get this game over with so I can pick up the player. And there we go. That is going to end the game. We win this with a score of two to nothing. I remember I read some of your comments saying that I was supposed to pick up also a change team for my last game uh, because I did get a shutout. So we'll buy two change teams for the team. But we got to raise that buy now minimum to 7,000. Look at that. 36 minutes and penalty minutes. Absolutely ridiculous. I've never faced anybody that's poke checked as much as that. Look at 24 face offs, 1 in 10. So many face offs needed to be taken. Oh man, I only capitalized out of the two power plays. So we did score some power play goals at least, but my my uh, conversion rate is just so bad. Anyways, let's choose the 26th player and raise that buy number minimum to 7k. I'll meet you at the auction search page. Alright guys, so we set the collection type to players. The buy now minimum has been set to 7,000. So let's choose the 26th player to be on the team. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Milan Lucic is going to be the next pickup, a left wing power forward. We definitely need some more left wingers on the team. So we'll buy him out. We'll see where he fits in. All right, so welcome back to the team. Here's a small little team update. Uh, we put on some change teams on some guys and we moved some people around as well that you might find surprising. I don't know. But first of all, Patrick Marlowe, I decided to put a Winnipeg change team on him. Uh, from now on, I'm just going to put Winnipeg change teams on my guys just because uh, I want to keep it consistent. If I want to move people around, I can always get my line chemistry all the way to 100 every single time. So Patrick Marlowe now is a Winnipeg change team alongside with Matthew Pro and Michael Bodker. You might be wondering why I moved Blake Wheeler down to the second line. I felt like Luff on the left side was actually a very good uh, pairing. I liked um, right-handers on the left side, and I think Blake, Blake Wheeler can help me finish off some of those one-timers on the left side. So that's why I have him on there. He could be the next one to get a change position card from right wing to left wing. I don't know yet, but Blake Wheeler, he is on the left wing, playing alongside with Boyle and Forsberg. And Milan Lucic, the newly picked up Lucic, we're putting him on the third line. He's going to be for my defense. Uh, if I need some extra power, some extra check-in, he is there uh, to help off, kill off some penalties, and just be there just to... Uh, Take the load off some of these guys like Gergensen's and Niederreiter that aren't too high rated in terms of overall. So anyways, that is pretty much it for the uh, line update and team update. We're going to get into the second game here. Let's see if we can continue that streak. Alright, let's go. Let's see who he has on his line. He's got Ryan Johansson, Nyquist, and Taylor Hall on his first line. Oh god, guys. Let's get this game going. He's definitely got some good players in his repertoire, in his reserve, so... We got to play some good defense, some good offense, and hopefully we can score some goals here. Yes, there it is! Milan Lucic, the new pickup, finally scores for us. Oh man, we have gone through this whole period with like basically no commenting. This guy's team's really good, and I'm right now just playing really hard defense. But there it is, Patrick Marlowe doing some... Uh, Handling with a puck, and Milan Lucci tucks it and makes no mistake, and it is now one to nothing, guys. Oh, and there is a goal. A slap shot from Morgan Riley, and it just trickles over Kari Lennon. And nothing you can really do about that, but the game is now tied up. Oh, man, I'm getting too many penalties here. I gotta stop doing that. Anyways, 1-1. One, one. We need that goal back. Oh, the flying poke check. Oh, Summers. Oh, we don't let him score. We couldn't let him score a goal there. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. I was pretty scared about pulling off the flying poke check, especially when I'm so bad at it right now. Anyways, still one-to-one. -one. I don't know what the reason is, but the tripping penalties are absolutely ridiculous right now. Brian Boyle, every time he goes on the ice, he gets a tripping penalty. Pretty ridiculous. Alright, and that is it for the third period. Just nothing is going on. 
Solid defensively on both ends for sure. A plus in defense. He probably has A plus A plus in defense as well. But let's take a look at the penalty minutes. 30 penalty minutes for me. 14 penalty minutes to him. I don't even know what's going on. Feels like after that patch just updated a couple a uh, couple hours ago, I've just been getting so many penalties. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe uh, EA made it just to make it more fair for poke checks, but so far, the amount of penalties is absolutely ridiculous. Still, 1-1, one one, we need to score a goal. Yes, there is the goal, and we win it in overtime. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to probably post on Twitter if the patch actually made a difference in this game. But we finally score a goal, making it 2-1, and we win it in overtime. That means that we continue that streak. 19-23 in shots, 9 minutes time on attack, and 7 minutes and 27 seconds. Definitely a very scary game, especially when he had all those players on his team. Let's see the three stars. Morgan Riley, uh, Matthew Perot, and as well as Kari Lennon doing pretty well, good as well. Anyways, we're going to be putting that buy now minimum to 8,000. And we're going to be choosing the 19th player. So meet you guys there. Alright, here we go. We're going to be choosing the player. We're going to raise that buy now minimum to 8,000. And uh, we're going to be choosing the 19th player. So, I did ask on Twitter what people thought about the new tuner set. There was a tuner set that just came out an hour ago. That's basically the time I started Hot Roulette. And everybody was saying they're getting like 15 to 20 tripping penalties per game. So, I was in the same boat with them. And uh, hopefully that does get fixed for the next Hot Roulette episode. That was that, that stopped all the commentary for my hut roulette and basically just brought the games to a screeching halt so hopefully they do fix that anyways we put the buy now range to 8,000 buy now minimum so let's choose the 19th player see if we get anything good all right so it's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen 19 Nicholas Cronwall definitely a very solid defenseman he's gonna be now on our team we can take out one of those bronze guys finally and uh, we'll put Nick Cronwall into the team so let's see where he fits in and there we go guys so I decided to throw in Nicholas Cronwall into the first line right defenseman spot and he's playing alongside with Jake Garner so that's gonna be a pretty good deep pairing as well as Stahl and Summers are still in the second line as well as the third line Prosser and Carlisle so I totally forgot to tell you guys in the first game or after the first game I did put a change team of New York Rangers on Kari Lennon because Mark Stahl and Summers already had a New York Rangers change team so very likely if I'm going to be buying more change teams in the future for defenders they are also going to be New York Rangers just to get that chemistry up and keep swapping around I don't have to worry about uh, chemistry as well so anyways that is pretty much it we're going to play with Nicholas Cronwall next game and we're going to see if he can light it up hopefully he can Anyways, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, smash that like button if you want to see more Hut Roulette. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Oh, nice pass. Come on, let's see what we can do here. We're going to rifle it. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. The drag back wrister. Finally, something a little bit more difficult across the screen.